More than a thousand butterflies from around the world. Abby Oconee is there right now. Such an amazing place. So how can uh, folks yeah. create their own welcoming environment for pollinators like butterflies? Yeah, butterflies play such an important role to the environment and to the ecosystem around the world. And what's really special today at the Tropical Butterfly House here at Pacific Science Center, we're giving you an inside look at this exhibit and then talking about what you can do at home to create that warm, welcoming environment. To talk more about this exhibit, I want to bring in Rachel Nelson, Animal Care Supervisor here. Rachel, thanks for being with us this morning. Of course, thanks for having me. Okay, so 50 species in here, 800 to 1,000 butterflies. Describe okay. what we're seeing. So we're in a very tropical environment here, yeah. um, made to replicate these butterflies' natural um, habitat in Central America and Southeast Asia. Yeah. So we've got a lot of really large structural trees here um, that provide habitat and shelter for our butterflies, as well as some fruit dishes and um, humidity that helps keep it nice and lush in here for them. Hey, look, it feels great. We're at about 80 degrees in here, right? Yes, and we you are. Feel the humidity. These butterflies are so striking and stunning. Isn't evolution incredible that they've evolved to blend into their environment? It is. They are really masters at camouflage and at evading predators. So we have quite a few that are actually kind of hard to see. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, they're kind of blending in here. I, by the way, I love this little humidity feature here. Um, let's talk more about how special it is to bring kids and families. What can kids learn in this exhibit? Oh, absolutely. So kids can learn um, what it is to see a butterfly up close and how they eat and are able to um, move through their environment yeah. but they're also learning um, a lot about how plants and butterflies or plants and animals work together. We're talking about the importance of butterflies in the ecosystem and tropical butterflies play a different role. You're saying mostly a food source, right? Yes. So <laughs> tropical butterflies are largely a food source for animals in their ecosystem like um, bats, birds, and reptiles. What is it like having your job and getting to care for these beautiful creatures? Creatures. It's a magical job, honestly. I feel very lucky um, to be able to work with butterflies from around the world yeah. that I wouldn't be able to see here in Washington is a really unique treat. What kind of training and education do you need to have a job like yours? Just curious. <laughs> the best part is, is that there isn't really a specific education you need. So I did get a master's in biology, but I learned most of what I do actually on the job now. Well, this is lots of fun. Um, let's try to find some of these butterflies. They're blending into the environment. Can you point any out for us here on this stretch? Yes, so we've got one little Heliconius here who I just noticed. This powder oh, so puff sweet. tree is a favorite of our butterflies. Um, and you'll find them on the little pink powder puff flowers. Living their best life. Okay, so here's the thing. This is featuring tropical butterflies, which is so special about this exhibit, but what can people do at home in their backyard to create a warm, welcoming environment for local butterflies? Definitely, so some things you can do to help lo local pollinators are going to be to provide flowering plants, because that's gonna be their primary food source. Our caterpillars do like buckwheat grass, um, but one of the other things you can do is provide a puddling station, so a very shallow okay. dish with a little bit of water and some pebbles. Yeah. They'll get a lot of their minerals and um, water from there. And these pollinators play such a role in creating a thriving garden, so I think that's really important for people to keep in mind. Yes. Let's give people a tease here in the next 30 minutes. Um, what, what are we going to be talking about here very shortly? Here in a little bit, we're going to be talking about what butterflies like to eat and the difference between tropical and native butterfly habitat. Or diets. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. Rachel, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Reporting Pacific Science Center, Abby Cody, Fox 13 News. All right, Abby, thank you.